Hey guys, how are we doing? Well, today again, a bit of metal detecting in the woods again. It was nice and sunny, we're on top of the mountain. That was me just then, on the drone. Right on top of the cliffs. We'll get up here and have a good look about before we head off into the woods. Just looked over there though. And that's rain heading our way. So we're going to get down in the woods, shelter down there. Hope we won't get too wet today. But, oh well if we do. I'll see you when we get down in the woods then. Alright then guys, just getting set up. Get down to the riverbank. And we're going to do all this area, it's nice and flat. All of this. And we're going to head up into the dents a bit where there's some more interesting stuff up there. Is here, how's here? There's a shell there. Huh? There's a shell. What's that doing here? You're nowhere near the sea. So, I was here last week. I brought my dad out. He wanted to have a quick go, he's never done it before. And we was up deep in the woods. And, um, we found loads of stuff. We found buttons, musket balls, and further up the top, we found a coin spill. Loads of Vicky pennies, and right in the middle of it, a great big silver florin, one florin. I'll put a picture of up in a minute, just above. But yeah, I can believe it. It's first time out, and a lucky get. We found all that. I couldn't believe it. I didn't have the camera with me, unfortunately, so I couldn't record it. But, well done, Dad. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with this bit, and I'll let you know if we find something. See you on the first second. Alright, so this little area right next to the river is obviously a flood, flood area, a little floodplain. When the river's high, I think everything's getting washed down here. Yeah, it's crazy signals, it's everywhere. But I just got a nice high signal in there and this came out. There's a lid to a coffee pot. A little, I don't know. I thought it was silver, but it's very light. I think it's just silver plated. But how old it is. Look at that. A little plastic handle on the top. It's got a rivet instead of a screw there. No all marks. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to try a little bit here and see if I can pick out some high signals, but I might have to move further away from this because it is a very noisy area. If I just. I'll run the thingy over and show you. Over here, it's more noisy over here. Just chirping at everything. Loads of bits of foil. So I'll see what I can pick out and then um, I'll get back to you if there's anything good. Here we go then. First going out the hole, and it's just a penny, just a penny, modern penny. Let's keep looking. All right then, a few feet over, another hole, and another coin. I reckon it's going to be a modern 2p isn't it, and wasted 2p. I think it's just a 2p. We'll clean up later and have a look. Could be half a penny. 
I'm not sure. Shall we clean up later? Have a look. So far so good. Let's keep it up. Alright. Alright then. Now this is interesting. It's on this little bank here. Slope. Little path. A nice high signal. And look at that. Look at that for a lead bullet. Look at that one. Look at the size of it. Obviously old, it's just pure lead. I like that. It's almost as big as my fingertip, look. Amazing, look at that one. I'll do some research, see how far, see how old it is. Brilliant, I like it. The good woods we're in. Let's keep it up. Alright, has this one got me? Nice sound, but part of an ox shoe. Part of his toe. Mm, well. At least we know old stuff's in here. Let's keep going. Oh yeah, I like this one. Look at this one. Straight in the hole. Look at that for a buckle. Whoa. Got patterns on it and everything. Look at that one. Can you see the patterns on that? On the top? On the... That's amazing. I wonder how old that is. Two, three hundred years old? More? Could be more. I'll have to do some research and find out what, how old that is. If anyone knows, put it in the comments. And that's a nice little buckle. Banging single. Right there. We've got that. We're going to find more. We're on the old stuff now, so let's keep it up. Oh, I love these woods. Let's keep going. Very overgrown these woods. This bank, holly bush. These are little game trails I'm on. Old hunting trails from the Victorian period, I guess, 1800s earlier maybe because I found musket balls in here but they're abandoned, not in use anymore so everything's just wildly overgrown so all the stuff that I've left behind is still here my little buckle the musket balls, that old lead rifle round but that was an old rifle, like an early rifle but yeah, it's a nice little wood. I did do some research on this wood. And um, the top over that way, beyond the field, there was old Victorian horse riding grounds to do pheasant shoots and deer shoots in there. There's uh, actually an old pheasantry, pheasantry hut further along the way on the uh, Victorian survey map that's quite interesting might have to try and see if we get down there and see if any rem remains still there or left behind if they were hunting and stuff like that then obviously they would have dropped stuff and this place goes back even further than the Victorian it goes, it goes way way back so it's all naturally formed natural form woodland it's not a plantation there's an ancient wood, there's a creek. So, who knows what we can find down here, eh? This is a nice flat area, I'm going to go do this. And I'll get back to you on the next one. Alright, something in this piece of dirt. Nice high signal in the 80s. Let's see if we can find it. It was in the dirt. Where's it gone? Oh, is that it? There it is. It's a coin. Yeah, it's a coin. Oh, silver. Oh, I think it's silver. 
Oh no, got a hole in it. Is it a dog tag? Oh, I think it's just a dog tag. It's got some writing on it. Can we scratch it off and have a look? Oh no, it's just a bit of corrosion. Oh, I thought it was a coin. Oh well. Dog tag. We'll keep it. Maybe there's a name on it. Well, on to the next one. Alright, there's another one out. I have no idea what it is. First off, I thought it was a coin. I think it might be a lid off something. I've took a nick out the top there. I don't think it's a coin. It's a lid. No idea. But what I'm on is another floodplain. There's a river just there. And all this is where it would flood up. So everything's going to get washed up onto this. So there's a lot of signals, it's very noisy, I don't think I like it too much. So I'll do a bit more here and then I'll move back up into where it's quieter. See you on the next one. Alright then, there you go. This definitely is a coin. Oh, look at the, that's a mint one as well. Look at his head on that. George V. That's a good one. Oh, that's amazing. Real good condition. 1920. Britannia. And there's George himself. Lovely. We'll stick here a little bit longer then. See what else there is. This is an interesting one. I think I just found part of an old car window winder. It's metal, got the mechanism still in there. Any idea what car that would have been off? The old plastic or bakelite handle there. There's a fair bit of, a few chunks of bit of metal and stuff hanging around down here. So I reckon there's a, maybe possibly an old car that's rotted away underneath me. But yeah, it's strange. Hmm, someone missing a car then. Well, if you're missing the car, it's down here. Good luck finding it. On to next. We've just stopped to have a look for the field. Can you see that? It's raining. Really drizzly rain. Coming down. I can't feel it in here. In the woods here, you can't feel it at all. Didn't even know it was raining. Before the rain cloud had passed earlier. This is how dense the woodland is. I'd like to get on that field, but unfortunately I don't have permission for that field. So this field, just at the bottom down there, pretty much where the trees are at the bottom, is ruins of an old mansion. So maybe I need to do is find out who owns the place and ask them if I'm allowed if they'll let me on. Because I reckon there's some old stuff on this field. And on this side of the fence, I keep finding Ox shoes and stuff like that that's been obviously been thrown over from over there. I don't see why they wouldn't let me, it's just green, it's just pasture. I'm gonna do some research, see who owns it. I wanna ask them. Right, let's carry on with what we're doing. We've had our break, we just had lunch. So we're ready to have some more. Let's keep going. There you go people. Right there. Not bad coin. Nice. Here you go, boys and girls. Anyone know what this is? Big wedge. And hammered the hell out on the top of it. I think it's a log splitter. 
or when you cut down a tree you put it in and then you start hammering it you make the tree fall over it's heavy it's lying there on the ground it was just there old imagine oh, still interesting let's keep going here we go then first little button of the day little four hole button mm. some writing but I can't make out what it is anyway right here by this fallen over tree is where my dad found a little coin spell Victoria pennies and half pennies and the silver Vicky Florin. Lucky yeah eh? So that tree must have fallen down in the late 1800s, early 1900s maybe and then some blokes come along come to cut it up manage it put his jacket down, all his coins fell out cut the tree up went home empty handed what a shame so I'm just going to go over the hole one more time make sure nothing was missed go around the tree then we're going to go up into a different section of the woods that we haven't been yet right see you on the next one hey okay, so it's still in the woods been going for a while not found much a couple of shotgun shells old ones then we found this on the surface Ferguson Colour Star. Looks like an old radio volume. Coal. Oh no. It could have been an old TV, maybe. So too many circuits for a radio, is not it? Maybe that would have been a screen. With some glass. I'm guessing that was a big old TV, a big glass screen. There's a bit to it. Oh well, Ferguson Color Star. We'll have a look and see what we can find on that. Oh, oh well, we'll keep going. All right, well, there's the old TV. I got this one out. See it? It's a musket ball. It's a shot one, splattered on one side. Nice. First musket ball of the day. Anyway, I've been following this weird semicircle ball thing. It goes all the way up and all the way around there. It's, it's vein lined with bricks. Well, stone. Big stone now. It goes round like that, almost in a circle. I'm wondering if this is an old, old fort that's not been found, discovered, or anything. This up there, it's even more prominent. It's just bricks. There's no soil on top of it. And it's been in a nice curve shape, going round. Then goes straight into the dirt. All this, all this is on top of it. But rescue ball's nice. We'll keep going. There you go, what would you think of that for a bottle? Eh? It's got the weird, I guess there would have been a glass marble inside it. It says Talky Mineral Water Company. That's a bit of a wire, isn't it? Nice thick bit of glass. Hey, I like that. We'll Google it and see what we can find about it. Well, that's it guys, I'm done. Done for the day. I'm hot, tired, sweaty, hungry. I found all I can find. I'm heading back. I've just came across this.
this bait, a couple of baits. Oh, it's a nice bait a little bit. Big green spade. Couple of gloves, pallets, chairs. And it's a big top here. They've started building a wall. Rubbish everywhere. Could at least tidy it up. Cable ties. I guess someone's. Look at this. These are put together with cable ties. Let's use a shitload of cable ties to, instead of rope. All this. It's cable ties, looped together. Jeez, get some rope. Or kids maybe, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What I will do, I will stack everything nice and neat for them and freak them out. Yeah, I'm going to do that. All right, get back to you in a minute. Alright, so I've lined up all their empty bottles and spades and gloves. I also found their, their little pots here, which have some cannabis in them. And rizzles and shit. And it stinks of nasty weed, real cheap nasty weed. I'm guessing there's a bunch of teenagers done this. I hope that freaks them out when they get back. Also stacked up some sticks for them and messed about with our little camp a little bit. So hopefully they start spinning out. Anyway guys, I think that's it for today. I think I'm done. I'm knackered. Anyway, good day out. See you lot on the next one. Bye.